So welcome to the Morris Federation series of online workshops during lockdown. My name is Pauline Woods Wilson and I'm president of the Morris Federation. And today I'm very pleased that we have Georgia Shorrock from Hadrian Clog, who's going to be teaching us uh, clog stepping for beginners. And this is week one. Um, so I'd like to just hand over to Georgia. Lovely, thank you, Pauline. Uh, hi everybody, uh, nice to see so many people here this afternoon. Welcome to this workshop. Um, as Pauline said, I'm Georgia and I dance with a team called Hadrian Clog. We're based in the north, in Northumberland, uh, near Hexham. And we've been doing clog dancing for quite a while now, but we just love sharing our clog dancing with anybody that will give it a go. So that's what this is all about today. Uh, I would think some of you have perhaps never done any clog dancing before, or some of you may have. But this is starting from basics. We're going to hopefully teach you a few bits and pieces that might encourage you to carry on dancing after these two weeks workshops. So, um, no further ado, I've asked everyone to just wiggle your ankles a little bit, move your legs a little bit beforehand, just to get warmed up um, before we actually start the workshop. So just have a minute, hold on to a chair or something if you need to, but just twirl your ankles around a bit particularly, because that's the bit that we'll be using most, your ankles and your knees a little bit. Okay, that's it. I'm going to teach you first of all some basic clog stepping. And then we're going to go through a little routine of Lancashire steps um, and put them into a Lancashire waltz. So um, without further ado, if everybody's okay, what I'll do is I'll do a little bit of teaching and we'll do a little bit of dancing and then I'll stop for a minute or two, make sure everybody's okay, that you can hear me. Can everybody hear me so far? That's good, that's good. Uh, um, <laughs> it's not very often I can't be heard. <laughs> And, and then we'll just take any questions and then we'll move on. Okay, so I'm going to just tilt my computer down onto the board and we'll start with some stepping. See if you can see me. Oh, wait a minute. Hang on a minute. Right, is that okay? Everybody can see me here? Okay, the first thing to do in a clog, uh, for a clog routine is to learn a shuffle. And all that is, is it's two beats from one foot. And you shuffle, you, you push your foot out and you bring it back again, making two beats. So it goes out, 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 out. Have a little go with that, just try that on your boards. Out, out, out. Whoa. <laughs> and then with the other foot as well. too far, mine just goes so it's fairly close to you, underneath you, okay? So out, and with the other foot, okay so that's part of a basic shuffle step. What we need to do now is to add a step at the beginning of it and you step onto your left foot and shuffle with your right. This, strange enough, is called off the left because you're standing on your left but then you shuffle with your right. So that goes step, shuffle, okay and again step, shuffle, once more off the left. Okay, now we try it off the right, so that means you stand on the right. Here we go. Right, shuffle. And again, shuffle. And once more, right, shuffle. Okay. There's just a little bit more to add on to the end of this shuffle to make it a full shuffle step that we can dance with. What you do is, starting on the left, you do your step and your shuffle. This foot's in the air, your right foot's in the air. So you step onto it and then you step left again. Step, step. So try that together. Step left, shuffle right, step, step. And again, the left. Step, shuffle, step, step. And then this that's in the air, your right foot, 
We'll do the same with that and add the step step on the end. So it goes step, shove, full, step, step. Once more off the right. Step, shove, full, step, step. Okay with that? And what you've probably worked out by now is that you can link these two steps together. So let's try that. Starting on the left, then the right, then the left, then the right, okay? So let's give it a go, starting with the left. One, two, three. Step, shove, full, step, step. Step, shove, full, step, step. Step, shove, full, step, step. Step, shove, full, step. Again. So that's a fairly straightforward, simple shuffle, but that's one of the real building blocks of clog dancing because shuffles are in almost every dance that you'll ever do if you're clog dancing. So is everybody okay with that? Shall we just do a little bit more shuffling? All right. Yeah. We'll do it a few more times and then we'll try it with some music and then you're really dancing. <laughs> Took you back down again. Okay, here we go. Off the left. One. Two, three. Step, shove, full, step, step. Step, shove, full, step, step. Right, if you're okay with that, I've got a little bit of recorded music. Shall we give it a go to some music? And you are all then officially clog dancers. Here it comes. We'll press the button and run back. but I'm sure all oh, these people on page one. everybody on page two okay yeah good everybody on page three okay ish yeah 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 yeah, yeah. great and on page four yay got some thumbs up there can you just about hear the music all right yeah good that's good right, any questions at all oh that's good yeah it's all gone quiet that's lovely right so the next thing we're going to do is that the shuffle is just the sort of like, the, as I said, the building block that's part of a dance and then you do interesting bits in between it. So we'll start teaching you some of the interesting bits now. Okay. Okay, so the first step in the Lancashire Waltz, you'll do two shuffles. So you will go step shuffle. And the next part is the actual step. You're going to step left, you're going to brush the right foot over, and a brush is just a push across like that, and then you're going to hop on the left. So I'll show you how it goes. So it goes step, brush, hop. And that sort of pushing your foot over on the brush will help you get off the ground. Okay, no matter how many mince pies you've had at Christmas, it will work. And you do it then off the right. So you go step, brush, 
Okay, so just watch a minute, I'll show you. It goes step, brush, pop, step, brush, pop. So the whole little sequence, so I'll just show you this and then we'll do it together. Step, shuffle, step, 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 shuffle, step, brush, pop, step, brush, pop, and then back to the shuffles. Okay, everybody alright with that? Should we give that a go all together? So we're going to step left to start with. Two shuffles and two brushes. Here we go. One, two, three. Step, shuffle, step, step, shuffle. Step, brush, step, brush, pop, step, brush, pop. Shuffle. And brush. Shuffle. Talking, well, I can only see my feet. To fit that to a waltz tune, <laughs> you do three sets of two shuffles, two brushes, two shuffles, two brushes, two shuffles, two brushes, and the last time you do two shuffles and you do what we call a break. And I'll show you how the break goes. It's just a, like the full stop at the end of the sentence to finish this little bit of dancing. So after you've done it three times, when you're on to the fourth lot of shuffling, you would go. And you put that heel down. I'll just show you that once more. Step, shuffle, step, 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 shuffle, step, brush, brush, hop, plant. And that's the, the end of that phrase of dancing and the end of that phrase of music. Then what would happen would be we'd start the whole phrase over again, starting off the right. So we'd go, step, brush, step. nicer with music isn't it right so we're going to try that we're going to start off the left do the whole sequence and finish that way and then we're going to start on the right and finish that way i'm going to switch the music off hopefully oh, oh gosh that's it it's quite slow and steady step left to start here we go and
Yeah, so I've, I've only just joined it because I couldn't find the link. Oh, okay. Well, we've only just started. We're just doing these slow steps to start with. Wow. So um, hopefully, and we'll be repeating them quite a lot. So hopefully okay. you'll yeah. pick them up okay. Yeah. Thank you. Everybody else all right down here on the third pages and fourth pages? Yes. Actually, of course, we all have different pages. So you might be on my fourth page, but you're probably on the... I just realised that. Oh, dear. Right. So if we're all right with that, I've got some music that's a tiny bit faster than that. Did that feel a bit slow for everybody? Do you want to just go a tiny bit faster? It's not much. It's just a little bit. Let me find... Um, here we go. Let's have a little go through this one. And we'll do the same again. Off the left and off the right. saying so perhaps just once more through yeah yeah we'll do that once more let's move my music back uh, there we go uh, starting on the left here we go music then. Um, where are we? Where are we? <laughs> right, find it. Okay, so it's the same thing starting on the left. Step left, shuffle right. We'll do it a little bit slower. Here we go.
press the button twice. <laughs> uh, right, should we move on to step number two? You just got um, a question, Georgia. Yeah? Uh, does the toe leave the ground on the hop after the brush, or is it just raise the heel? Does the toe leave? Does it? Oh no, it's a proper hop. The whole foot comes off the ground. If I do it sideways on, you can maybe see that. So you go step, brush, step, brush, step. To answer the question, does that make sense? Yeah? But to start with, don't make any of these moves too big because if you, if you try and sort of you know, hop and throw your foot out too much, it can be, especially on a slippery surface, it's um, easy to, to slip. Is that okay? That's the answer I needed. Thank you. That was the answer I needed. Oh, good. Lovely. Lovely. Um, right. Shall we move on to the second step then? Actually, what I'll do is I'll, I'll teach the second step. No, actually, I won't. I'll stop now for one minute for anybody to grab a drink, cool down a bit. I've just realized my central heating is switched on, so I'm going to go and switch it off. <laughs> so grab yourselves a drink. Yeah, have a little practice on your own. I'll be back in one minute. I noticed somebody's asked um, whether on the shuffle you just use your toe and, and that's correct. You just use your toe, um, that front bit of your foot on the shuffle. Your heel doesn't come into it. Georgia, I muted you for a minute, so can you unmute yourself? Sorry. I was just saying it's fantastic clog dancing because it saves on your heating bills as well. If you all practice lots, you never have to heat your house. Uh, right, sorry, was there a question there? Didn't hear that one. Did somebody ask a question? Yeah, I think uh, Jenny covered the question. Um, oh, somebody, Janice has asked, what do we count for the shuffle? It's like a half beat. So the three beats for the, that's a good question actually, the three beats for a waltz, if you're dancing a waltz, is one and two and three pause. One and two, two, three, oh, sorry, okay. one and two, two, three. One and two, two, three. So all of them are like half beats. So you've got five sort of half beats and a half beat pause at the end. Step, shuffle, step, step. They're all the same value. And then a little pause, which gives you that sixth half beat. So making the three beats of a waltz. Okay. Right, we're going to step number two now. Has everybody had a little drink and a whatever? Right, step number two is called a swanny. And I'll show you how it goes. on first so you can actually see what I'm doing. You step onto your left, the, the pattern of dancing is the same, you'll do two shuffles, step, shuffle, step, 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 shuffle, step, step, then instead of doing two brushes, you'll do two swannies. Now a swanny is step left, go onto your right heel, and at that point it's a bit of a sort of a rocking movement, and you take your weight off the back foot, you pick it up off the ground completely, so you go step, heel, step. Now I've exaggerated that a bit there obviously because you wouldn't pick your foot up quite that much. But the move goes step, heel, step. Then you step onto your right. Right, heel, step. And it's a bit of a funny one this because you've got to get that balance right or you'll fall over a lot, which we all do when we're practicing. So you go step, heel, step, step, heel. So from behind it looks like this. Step left, heel right, left, then right, heel, right. And what you're aiming for eventually is to get a sort of swivel 
on that foot as well and turn your toe out. But don't worry about that for now. Just get that balance from the toe to the heel, back to the toe again. Step, heel, step, step, heel, step. And all these steps really should be on our toes, but just to try this to start with, if you feel a bit more comfortable having a flat foot, I'd rather you did that than fall over. So you can just go step, heel, step, heel, step. Okay? Let's try that a few times together. Here we go. So we're starting on the left. Just the swanny part, yeah? One, two, three. Step, heel, step, step, heel, step, step, heel, step, heel, step, heel, step. Okay? Don't have your feet too far apart when you're doing that either because there would be the tendency to, for your heel to slip away from you. So keep it fairly close. You can have it right underneath you. You can just go step, heel, step, heel, step, step, heel, step. But just try to start with to get that rocking movement. So you're going to go step, heel, step, step, heel. That's often the easiest way to learn this step. Step, heel, step. Okay? Let's try it together. We'll do a couple of shuffles and then we'll put those swannies in instead of the brushes. Yeah? Okay. We'll start on the left. One, with, with the shuffles. One, two, three. Step, shuffle, step, step. Step, shuffle, step. Step, heel. Step, heel, step. Often e oh, where the music on? Let's find it. Uh, right, and it's often easier with the music. Here we go. Step left, step shuffle. foot in front of your other foot or over further or doesn't it matter so much it doesn't really matter just don't put them too far apart because that is where you run the risk of your heel slipping away from you um, the best thing to do with all sort of clog dancing really is to keep it what I call underneath you and neat as much as possible so quite often and particularly you know, if you're in a small space some of these steps you can't do them big um, this one particularly you can almost do it right next to the other foot I'll just show you what I mean um, you can, oh, I tilted that a bit too much then 
So you can just go step, heel, step, step. Almost where the foot belongs anyway. You know, where it stands on the ground. Step, heel, step, step, heel, step. If you can put it a little bit out in front if you've got room. That's nice and it gives you that bit of rocking. But don't go right out there. So, so you can keep it as sort of like as tight as you want to really. Does that answer that question all right? Yeah. Is it important? Oh, yeah, that's the question. Yeah, right. that's I think so. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Should we do that once more? We'll do it slowly once more, just to make sure that you've got the hang of it, yeah? Okay, let's get that music back on again. Starting on the left, just with the swanny step. Step left and do the shuffles first. Step everybody right with that one? Yeah? Good. You just Let's can't... now then can't try. Sorry, there's go on. There's another question. Yep. Asking basically what you do with your upper body. <laughs> your oh, you don't want to see that. <laughs> it's not a wobble around like this. Oh. <laughs> really, uh, I, I'm. A, oh, I have my own feeling about this. Um, there's a lot of. There's still competition clog dancing that goes on in this country lots and lots of lovely competitions showing fabulous fabulous footwork and upper body has to remain still well <laughs> it's a bit of a giveaway when I say I've never entered a competition I just can't do it because we're always doing this with our hands and we're a dance team that really enjoys our dancing and we have a bit of fun with it and I, I, so whatever you want to do with your hands that's absolutely fine by me there isn't any sort of like set what you have to do in, in not in our club dancing anyway as i say if you wanted to eventually take it onto competition standard there's sort of like rules that you have to follow but for me just go wild with your hands whatever you feel like doing that's fine <laughs> if you can do that as well you can come and join our team that's great <laughs> right let's do it let's do the two steps together yes the first step you've forgotten the first one step brush hop step brush hop yep and then let's have a look what we've got in here um and then we'll do the swanny off the left we'll do it off the left and off the right for the first step and off the left and the right for the second step yeah everybody all right with that good let's go here we go
through the Lancashire Waltz. Well done. Anybody want to just do that again? Can you go over the brush again? I mean, to shuffle. The brush or the shuffle? Yes, again, yes, again, please. Okay. At that sort of speed, yeah? You maybe didn't notice that was slightly faster than before. <laughs> Shall we do it again, though? No? Brushes first. And whoever it was just wanted reminding, I'll just remind you, I'm going to say. So the brushes, step, brush, up, step, brush, up, step, brush, up, brush, up. Is that okay? Let's try the two. Um, oh, what have I got to do here? Find some music for you. There we go. And we'll do the two steps again. Starting on the left. take ages to learn how to shuffle really well oh yes oh yeah absolutely people might be worried that they haven't got it you know so, oh no and, and it's not i mean it's taken me years really <laughs> and i still haven't really got yeah it. yeah and it's just one of the things it's one of those basic things that you just keep doing and you keep practicing and you keep practicing and um, you know when we have a practice we might well be learning some more complicated steps but we still work hard on the shuffle just to try and get those even beats. So just give yourself time. It's the sort of thing when you're, you know, waiting for the bus or washing the dishes or watching the television program, you can just do it on the floor. Just, you know, all it is is a push out and a back and an out and a back and an out and a back and just try and get that fairly even. Oh yeah, but don't expect miracles, honestly. <laughs> don't, uh, yeah, don't feel you have to learn to do all this today. This is just really an introduction. So if you like it, you know, you can find a team close to you. I'm sure there's any in the net. Are I'm sure there will be somewhere oh, and, um, and and take it further. So we've probably got time to do a third step if you're up for it. Everybody want to learn a third step? Yeah. And then we'll do the last three next week. Yeah. Okay. So this is the third step and we call this one sixes and it's called sixes because it's got six beats in it. All right. I'll just show you how it goes. Put that down like that. All right. So you've done your two shuffles. So you've gone step, shuffle, step, 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 shuffle, step, step. Now this one just goes step, shuffle, step, shuffle, step, shuffle, step, point. And we count that. We go one and two and three and four and five and six. Okay. 
So have a little go with me, just side by side here, and I'm going to turn sideways because you'll probably see it easier to start with. We'll do it really steady. So you've done your two shuffles, you step onto the left, and it's just step, shuffle, step, shuffle, step, shuffle, step, and then a point, what you call a point at the end. So step on the left, so you go step, shuffle, step, shuffle, step, shuffle, step, point. This is very good practice for your shuffles as well. Okay? Once more. Two, three, step, shuffle, step, shuffle, step, shuffle, step, point. And that one that you pointed, you've got to come back and step on that again to do the step shuffles. Step, shuffle, step, 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 shuffle, step, step, one and two and three and four and five and six. Yeah? So let's do this routine through then with the with the shuffles. I might just stand. Oh, I'll stand this way first, and then we can try it with me doing it sideways as well if that helps more. Okay, so we're going to do the shuffles first. Step on the left. Two shuffles, and then the one and two and three and four and five and point. Yeah. Let's give it a go. One, two, three. Step shuffle. Step step. Here we go. One and two and three and four and five and six. And again, step, shuffle, step, step, shuffle, six. One and two and three and four and five and six. Step, shuffle, step, 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 shuffle. Here we go. about that one what tune are you what tune are you using oh yeah um it's called mrs parker's waltz and if anybody would like it i can get the music over to pauline and she can send it round maybe with to all the emails yeah yeah we'll do that we'll send the music round for mrs parker's waltz um any more questions yes we're also recording yeah okay um, shall we do th this sixes to the slow music? Yeah? We're getting there. Very good. Uh, let's try this one. Stop it. Step shuffles to start and then the sixes. I think I'm going to do it this way. Oh, no, I'll do it this way. I'll do it this way in a minute. Step shuffles, step left.
Start on the right foot. Any questions on those? Everybody managing all right? Yep, yeah, good, good. Everybody brave enough to go from the beginning of the dance through all three steps. Yeah, I see some thumbs up there. Everybody happy with that? Lots of thumbs up here. Right, let's find the uh, longer music. And so we're going to start two shuffles, two brushes, two shuffles, two brushes, left and right. And then we're going to do the swanee, which is the heel swing, left and right. And then we're going to do the sixes, left and right. Okay, here we go. Anything? There's one there that says, Can you do the dance at full speed? 
Oh, Just yeah. Well, us, not, we obviously, we're not good enough to join in. <laughs> what, me personally? <laughs> well, I'll, do, I'll do those three steps at, so, how, at the speed that I would dance in, but it's not much faster than that because it is a waltz. So it wouldn't be it wouldn't be too much faster than actually what we're doing here. But I'll just show you how fast I would probably dance those steps. I have to do it without the music because um, I haven't recorded a fast one yet. So I would probably go. Ooh, got to this now. <laughs> so far i've yeah, just got a couple of minutes left so uh, any questions you can unmute yourself if that's easier have we, got, have we got a couple of minutes like four minutes so we can do the whole thing again yeah are you I able so. to write them out are you able to write the, the steps out so then as notation yeah um yeah or steps or something just so i can yeah the way i write the notation out is to have two columns left and right foot and then you just sort of like, I'll put the notation down a bit. I can do that, yes? Yeah, so we can send that out then. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Would you like to just do the whole thing again once more? Yes, please. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Uh, which one are we going on? We'll do the full routine. So we're doing brushes, and then we're doing swannies, and then we're doing sixes, yeah? Here it comes. And you have to learn to smile at the same time. That's the hard bit. <laughs> The concentration and the smiling. Here we go. Step shuffle. Rush.
well done everybody, well done you. That's fantastic to get through so much in an hour. Very good. Well, if that doesn't improve our shuffles, nothing will. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> and more to come next week. More to come next week. Well, that's been fantastic. Thank you, Georgia. Whatever Hope you've all enjoyed it anyway. Hope it's uh, encouraged you to come back next week at least. Yeah. Yeah, come yes, back. Yes, really good. Good. Oh, wonderful. Thank you. Yeah, unmute yourself and give Georgia a round of applause. Oh. Thank you. Well done. You did all the hard work. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Hopefully see you all next week. <laughs>